Thank you for being here today as we begin this very important conversation. I'm sorry I cannot be with you in person. I'm traveling at the time of this event. A few months ago, Pat Shea reached out to me about her desire to engage men to help stop violence against women and girls. As part of that effort, I attended the first training at the YWCA and listened to Tony Porter talk about why it is so important for men to get engaged in the issue of domestic violence and why it is our responsibility, if not our duty as men, to become a moving force toward a solution. While domestic violence may not have crossed over the threshold of your front door, its existence is all around us. In 2012, there were approximately 24,000 domestic violence incidents reports filed in Davidson County. That represents roughly a quarter of all 2012 police incident reports. In that same year, there were 10 domestic violence homicides in Davidson County, about the same number we had each year over the last five years. The fact that our domestic violence and domestic violence homicide rates remain relatively the same year to year makes domestic violence a priority, which is why I agree with the YWCA and Tony Porter that for significant change to occur, good men, like those of you sitting in the room today, need to care and need to get engaged. Because with numbers like these, the chances are that domestic violence will affect a woman that you know and care for. And while that woman may not be your wife or daughter, it very well may be your niece, coworker, or friend. As mayor and as father of two daughters, I want Nashville to be the safest city in the country for women. And when we become the safest city in the country for women, we will also be the safest city for children because the two go hand in hand. And that is why my office has been working hard on a comprehensive domestic violence safety assessment. This assessment is identifying ways that Metro government can better serve the safety needs of domestic violence victims and their children. And this is why, when given the opportunity, I talk about domestic violence and why it is an important and critical issue for everyone to care about. And after this morning's program, I hope each of you leaves here wanting to be engaged in this issue, or at the very least, I hope you leave here wanting to learn more about domestic violence, because once you understand the complexities involved, you can start talking about the issue and invite discussions at work, among friends, and family. And when you are talking about the issue of domestic violence, you will add to the number of men who feel compelled to become part of the solution. Thank you, and enjoy this morning's program.